Please. We are live. Okay, we've got a match between OKC and Vancouver. Chaos. Uh, spec is OKC, so I need to switch these. Good to go. Shutting out today on Breenberg Hotel. You're uh, good to start, whoever's host. Eventually we'll get it started. There we go. Got a match versus OKC versus Vancouver Chaos today. Solo casting because nobody loves me. Should be a decent game today. Excited to see how this turns out. I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting logos just a bit. It's hard to figure out where to put them. Good enough. That's not good enough. Should be Boston. There. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. No, it will just. Alright. Anyway, back to the game. Rhino's starting out 3 0. A pretty good start for himself. Starting out three and zero, Debezy starting out four and zero. Good God! Okay, see, so looking to keep control of this new hill. Vancouver looking to break it, pushing through the front. Scorps coming through spas. Scorps gives the full breakdown. There's two on the, for OKC left on hill. Scorps break through. Zachary and Gouli left alive. Do they know that? Slixie's in the back, they do, they get him. Okay, so he keep, keeps full control of P2. And it looks like Vancouver's gonna be hitting one more push out and then rotating from there. Bad to make a wild guess. Fully shut down before they can even get close, and now Vancouver's fully pushing out. Looks like the call was made for OKC to push out as well. Leaving just Zachary uh, behind to hold that old time. Vancouver looking to have initial setup prepared. We still have Ghouli and CB King sitting on the Rhino gets two to hold the hill. It's only Rhino left on the hill after the rotation. Zachary's gonna be hitting through rugs. All of OKC spawns out P1. It's gonna be down to Swarps to shut him down. Slixie's got the cross from P6. I mean, that's just a gross spot. Gets pick on Zachary. Looks like Debezi's gonna be making a look at hit through to uh, Freezer. Rhino looking to shut him down. Rhino gets the pick on him. And Paradox pinches... One. Paradox looking already rotated. Almost gets a pick on Ghoulie. 
up the P4. Having that early rotation after sitting P6 for that P3 hold. OKC having full control of this hill. Still 10 seconds left on hold, so there's still time for Vancouver to break through their setup. Scorps unfortunately getting shut down, leaving just Paradox and Slixie to break through. Paradox looking to make an initial hit. Get shut down by DBZ, leaving just Slixie to try to break this hill. Vancouver's sitting on that B2 heading. Now all of OKC knowing where he is, gets naded out. It was down to, now it's up to Paradox and Rhino to get a break going. DBZ up top, from the top ropes, onto his forehead. OKC looking to get a full 60 hold here. BZ spotting Slixie, getting some tags in. Gets another. Gets another! DBZ on an absolute tear, one off that cruise missile, starting at 12 and 4, triple positive. Pre-aiming his own teammate. Vancouver spawning out behind him to spa. OKC looking to keep hold of this hill, no matter what. Looks like OKC is also going to get rotations for new, killing Paradox and Rhino off of it. Slixie looking to break, may, maybe break through there. Gets to BZ out of Dub Arch. Can maybe get a second on Ghoulie? Ghoulie looks like he's going to be waiting. Chow's out, gets the timing. Ghoulie versus Scorps. Scorps gets the pick. Scorps gets traded out. It's another pick. Rhino looking to break through, gets one, unfortunately shut down. Slixie also got one, but she gets shut down. Still three on hill for OKC. And there's a split spawn for Paradox, for, for the side of Vancouver. Paradox gets two. It's all down to Ghoulie on time. Ghoulie gets one. Ghoulie gets two. Doesn't matter, Slixie gets the trade. OKC spawn out, looking to rotate out. OKC looking to go side up and start being ready for new. It's looking like a Rhino to be the only one to rotate on the side of Vancouver. It's Pix, CB, and DeBeezy both on that new hill. DeBeezy looking to get everyone out of that back kitchen. And here's Slixie. There it is. DeBeezy just an absolute tear. I mean, they're looking for someone on the other, on the side of Vancouver to match his energy, but there's not seem to be anyone. DeBeezy gets one trade out by Paradox. Ghoulie looking for a flank. Almost gets a kill on Rhino. Traded out, helped out by his teammate Slixie. CB King is hold, trying to hold the time off from three. The Scorps is looking to hit a, a bottom flank on this hill. Zachary holding, trying to hold it all on his own. Gets one on Scorps. It's a pinch coming in on the hill. There's two from OKC and two from Vancouver on the time of hill. Paradox coming out from the bottom. Looking to get a pick on the back steps. It's one shot by CB. CB looking to keep this hold. Oh, Scorps almost didn't get that trade. It's four stack. It's four and old for Vancouver. Get a nice break, but only with 20 seconds left on the hill. Looking to head out for this new P1 hold. OKC looking to set up for not only P1, but also P2. Blue looking to grab this time. Gets picked through the bench by Rhino. Scorps gets a pick of his own on the side of Kitchen. And looks like Vancouver broke for this P1 hill, but can they get the rotation for P2? CB sitting in dub there's three there on them. Scorps gets a three piece! And Slixie gets the fourth to send it to a four down for the side of OKC. Ghoulie gets one to give them a one, at least one on the board. OKC looking to probably be spawning out here. Rhino gets another two, Scorps gets another, Zachary gets two. Zachary trying to make it three, but gets traded out by Slixie. OKC spawning out. It's actually a split spawn here, OKC spawning kitchen. And Vancouver spawning in the, in the, uh, in the bedroom. OKC looking to take control of his P1 to get some more time off with 20 seconds left on hill, but also looking to rotate. I don't think Nino Scorps is all the way back there. Scorps knows he's there though. Scorps gets picks. Or no, Scorp, not Scorps. Scorps is alive. Ghoulie gets picked. Okay, OKC is looking to make a hit through Shandy. There's a flank coming in from Rhino, and they have no clue he's there. Rhino looking to get one, get some pretty mature shots. Ozan gets Ghoulie. And gets straight out by DeBeezy. DeBeezy one on the hill gets two. That's a, a DeBeezy on a three streak. Scorps coming in from the backside. Ghoulie trying to do what he can on the hill. There's three on the hill for the side of Vancouver, one for the side of OKC, and Ghoulie gets traded out. Maybe four on the side of Vancouver, OKC spawning out bedside. Looking to make a push through P4, the last ditch effort to get some extra time. Zachary pushing in, gets one. 
Gets two. Gets straight out by Rhino. Vancouver takes hold. CB spawns out behind them, though. It's going to be a fight for new. Paradox gets the pick. It's down to DeBeezy get the pick on Paradox. And he gets it. Okay, see, looking, I have this new setup, but Scorps is, is looking to make a make a stance about them keeping this rotation. Slowly waiting for his teammates to push up. Look at that Paradox and, and Scorps are going to be the ones to make the move. Scorps gets one. Scorps gets picked. Paradox just being a nuisance on the side of this kitchen. Not going to make a move into the time. Looks like he gets one out of the middle. I think he knows CB is there. And Vancouver breakthrough as well. Giving just one from the side of OKC close to break this hill. And he pushes in. Not much you can do when there's three people on the hill. Is that a tracer bullet I saw there? I believe I'm seeing tracers on the map here. Giving OKC on the side. OKC keeping control of this hill for the last 20 seconds. Looking to make it even heading into this P4 hold. Vancouver also looking to take control of this hill. Pushing out Paradox gets one. Paradox in the back of the only two closes. Tuxie there for the assistance. He pushes out. Gets the trade. Divizi looking to get the, his own trade. Scorps looking. I mean, just trades across the board here. OKC okay, so spawning out. Divizi still alive in their back spot. Looking to make a big play here for OKC. Okay, so he gets picked out. Zachary looking to get Paradox off time. OKC. Okay, so Vancouver can win off this. And they're looking. They're probably looking to end it here. They gotta get a perfect hold here, and OKC's not looking to let that happen. The Cryptics flies in, Slixie flies in, Slixie's just sitting on that heady. It's all up to CB to make a play here. He's got Zachary pushing up behind him, Zachary gets picked before CB even gets tagged. CB gets one, CB and Slixie on times, gets two, Debezi, it's three! It's three down for the side of Vancouver. Okay, see, so has full spawns for old and full control old, but again, with only 20 seconds left. And Vancouver looking to keep control of this. Debezi almost gets turned on. But thankfully, he'd never turned. Debezi just on an absolute tear right now. He's got th 34 and 21. I mean, what more could you ask from him? Okay, see, so keeping full control of this diner hill. And Vancouver looking to make a pinch through rugs and white. But Debezi and Zachary just shutting it down. Zachary gets picked by Slixie. Slixie gets one of his own. Paradox gets two. Paradox looking to make it three. He's the last one on hill to break this for Vancouver. He gets him. So Cruise Missile coming in from the BZ. He hits, he hits the trophy system. He doesn't quite hit the wall. Ghoulie on time gets picked by Rhino. Rhino gets picked out. It's up to CB to break the hill. Slixie gets one. The BZ trades him out. I mean, this is just a scrappy hill. Either side... Well... Vancouver can no longer win off this hill, but, but OKC very much can. There's another cruise missile coming in from the side of from, from Slixy. Can this land even in time? It does, but it hits a trophy, and that's a win for OKC. OKC looking to make it 1-0 in, in the series. Oh no, Activist. It was, uh, it's not actually the third map. This is first map. I just didn't adjust that. That's my bad. I will adjust that now. Uh, series score? Uh, team one? Well, I'll just set it to zero, zero because they might be switching sides here. Heading into the next map.
What's up? What's up? Hmm. You're good. I'm gonna have to restart my game. What the fuck? Or do they load in? Hmm. Try rejoining again, and if it doesn't work, just restart. There we go. We good? Yep. So I just am saying. Heading into round two of the OKC versus Vancouver Chaos matchup. OKC making a big splash in the first round. Not being so much of the favorites heading into this match. Looking to make a statement. Starting at 1-0. Looking to make it 2-0. Vancouver looking to make this a tied series. Sniper out for Zachary, looking to get a pick. It's sl shredded by Rhino. Paradox gets a pick of his own. The BZ looking to just cause some havoc down there in the bottom bedroom. Ghoulie gets a pick. That's up to the BZ in a 1v2 or 2v2. My apologies. I believe Vancouver is aware of the bomb's location. So it's up to Gulia to hit a slow flank here. Will Vancouver hear this? 
does not seem like they have. Dibizi still just creeping around below. It's up to Ghoulie. Bust through the door. Oh, he has dead silence, but he busted through the doors. He gives himself away. Dibizi gets a pick of his own. Sound a 1v1 between Slixie and Dibizi. Slixie pops a dead silence. Dibizi already has dead silence. Oh, it is on the way out. Dibizi has to get this bomb down. Which looks like he's heading to do just that. Or just let the clock run out, and that's th that's gonna be the rounds. Ooh. Dibizi actually almost getting the pick and getting around. Sixty, thankfully you're able to get that kill off. Hey, Cooper's starting out the series 1-0. Let's go on board with the... Uh, was there a sniper on this side? No. Let's... let's uh, I, think we, I think we see what Paradox does here. It's looking like they're making a B hit here. Yep. Heading for a B hit here. Looks like he's going to be playing by himself on the side of mid. While the rest of the team pushes up through diner. Okay, see, so looking to have some knowledge of this. Or not at all. They have to now. Yeah, there it is. There it is. CB the only one on a hill gets one, traded out by Paradox. Slixie look, looking to hit a late flank here. Doesn't seem to have spotted anyone on the cross. Scorps gets a pick of his own, leaving it in a 2v3. Paradox sitting in that freezer. Scorps and, and Slixie looking to sit in that cat room. Okay, see taking some control of kitchen here. The BZ not able to see Slixie under the barrel of that vast dive, putting... Zachary, a 1v3 with a sniper rifle. Oh, gets a crazy pick. Gets straight out, how though. Only so much you can do channeling into that small bomb site with a sniper and a pistol. Still ain't able to get one, though. Everyone officially off of the low talker. After round two. Is Zachary able to get a nice pistol kill and Scorps able to get two? Well, the Slixie's still starting out 3 0. Zachary still have the sniper out holding top top luggage. Julie hitting a child out. Slixie gets picked. No more streak for Slixie. Paradox popping dead silent. Zachary gets a pick on a Rhino. Paradox should know Ghoulie's up here. Par Ooh. Paradox doesn't hear it. Okay, so he's able to get bombed down and it's a 2v4. Paradox and Scorps the last two alive. Paradox. Ooh, Scorps was dead. He just about ran out. Paradox looking to get something picked here. Ooh! Hits a clad on his teammate trying to get Paradox. Instead of cladding Paradox, he only killed his teammate. He double whiffed the piss sniper. He gets straight out by Scorps. Scorps gets one. It's so a 1v1 between Dibizi and Paradox. Paradox is the pick. He's able to get the defuse. I mean, good God. What happened with, with, what happened with Zachary there? Wish I had seen that. It looked like he was trying to snipe. He tried sniping Paradox and accidentally cladded his teammate. Because he definitely hit Marker Paradox. And then he just whiffed three bullets and got picked by Scorps. I mean, what a play. By Scorps to make it a 1v1 for Paradox. Sending it to a 3-0 for the side of Vancouver. Scorps having a strong stand this map. with four, Starting out 4-2. I said, well, let's go on board with him to see what, what he can do here. Looks like he's going to be picking up Bomb this round. Having another B hit with an, an OKC only leaving one yet again to hold that side. It's all up to CB Kings to hold off Scorps and Paradox hitting out the site. Kinda looking to get a pick of his own off mid. Not able to find anything. Scorps gets the pick out of on, on CB out of B. Now it's a mad dash. 
Slicks being able to get one, setting it to a 2v3 for the side of Vancouver. Swarp's looking to get another pick in the rounds. Doesn't quite know that Zachary's there since he does have Daddy Pops. Zachary did put away the sniper, but that does not matter because Rhino is ready for him. So making it a 1v3 for Debezi. Debezi having an AR out this round. Which if it was an A hit would not be a bad play, but considering uh, this is a, was a B hit, it's unfortunate circumstances. All of Vancouver being aware of Debezi's whereabouts. Not a lot he's going to be able to do here. Gets a pick on Paradox. Not going to be able to get the defuse. No picks being given to, to BZ. Oh, Rhino just getting absolutely beaming to BZ. Sending it to a 4-0 for Vancouver. I mean, they are look, they're, they're looking dominant. Yeah, we thought Vancouver was going to look good. Uh, how is Scorps looking specifically? He kind of struggled Scorps is 6-2 uh, right now in ah, this search and destroy. Go, yeah. How do you do the map one? He, um... I don't quite remember. I know Debezi was on an absolute rampage. Yeah, he's been... Yeah, he played well. It's good to see him pick it back up. His playoffs, he dipped a little. Vancouver wasn't doing bad. Yeah. But... You wanna... Uh, I'll cast with you. You wanna... Yeah, uh, I got you into Discord. Yeah. I thought I was, I was losing my mind over here. My bad, I didn't realize. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, BZ first blood. He's definitely been the playmaker for these OKC guys. I mean, yeah, he's doing everything he can. I mean, CB Kings is usually their, their search and destroy guy, and he's not having the best game. No, he's not. I see one thing, though. I don't th think these guys have played Hotel Search, mm. if I can recall. And this is Scorpius' map. Yeah, he's he's like, been he on a is, tear. He's a big fan of Hotel Search. If you don't shut him down B-side, you're going to be losing. I mean, OKC seem to be absolutely petrified of Vancouver. Yeah. Rhino getting a pick Who on Zachary. Map one? map one was OKC. Ah, yeah. It was it a two, it's 250, 230. It was close. Oh, yeah. Same over on um, a Bravo stream with the, what is it, Miami versus... Where are they playing? Baltimore? No. I was literally just there. Um, and Cooper taking just... another another round in the series. Yeah, up 5 0 now. I mean, that time it was Incredible just a, stuff. two picks from Rhino. And... I mean, in that scenario, you don't need Scorps to do much. Washington. He was just holding down the B site. They're playing Snow in Washington. Mmm. I assume Washington took bad. it. Yeah, they, they still look very good. It was actually a very close opening hard point. Low. It, again, was kind of down in the sling, but the rest of the guys on that team look really solid mm. for uh, Miami, which, I mean, is kind of what you expect out of reigning champs. Fair enough. Zeptus says, Scorps, Scorps the SMG demon. I mean, it seems to be that way. Slixie on a, Slixie, I mean, Slixie seven and two. Yeah. Slixie's doing his thing right now. He's just kind of, he, he's been that guy. That's what Ryan was looking for. Um, he's, he's been that guy. And we're getting ripped by Ghoulie and getting traded by Paradox. And CB That's just fucking pissing his pants at the bottom of bed. Is there a trade that went down that I missed with uh, Ghoulie? Because he was on Brooklyn last time I tried. Uh, Ghoulie is... This is not Ghoulie. I don't... Uh, this is... Uh, whoever their other guy is, it's supposed to be. It's either Polo or... Uh, who would be their last? It wouldn't be Polio because Polio is uh, not on their team. I mean, it's up to the VZ in a one v two to I, not I make it. Apparently. Not make it six. No, uh, yeah. Ghoulie is on Brooklyn, and I was confused yeah, too. Yeah, but Ghoulie did come into the chat and say that that is not Ghoulie. So interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. But that's going to be a six zero victory for Vancouver. And I actually have some breaking news. In fact, on the Bravo stream, Low Talker has barrier in SMD. After a span of one major, uh, the first round he got a first blood onto Moist Quackers. I mean, that's a that's historical. It is historical. A first blood fact, too. Um, yeah, of all people, Snow was the one who called it too. He said it was going to be Moist getting blooded uh, earlier today, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, that's absurd. Got to drop that in the intel. Yeah. No, I threw it right in the league announcements. <laughs> oh, you mean the um, uh, the. 
it's snow take. Yeah, it, it was. We were all just kind of shooting it. So <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a you got a screenshot right when it happened. I sure did. I was waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. He was bottom bed and got the pick. Yeah, they just oed a. I was trying to get the logos lined up on this stream, but I couldn't. It's so hard to do. Yeah, you think you could tune into that Bravo stream right now? I would doubt that they're done with their search by now. Yeah, no, I can, I can pull it up. Yeah, it was, when I switched, it was just after that round one. Excuse me, you can hear my dogs. They're not being very well behaved. But yeah, I mean, if you're gonna, if Watch any team's team gonna be game. winning that S and D, we're gonna be looking at, uh, we're gonna be looking at Miami to do so, and uh, with those three guys, uh, and then plus low, they have a very good S and D team, uh, and just a whole teamwork oriented, because they were getting outslayed. They got outslayed by a lot on that opening hard point, and they kept it very close. I think that team is gonna be like one of our dark horse teams, similar to almost how Phoenix was seen, uh, major one. I don't uh -huh. think many people expected Phoenix to be as good as they were uh, towards the tail end of the major. Yeah, looks like Miami's actually getting... Not doing too well in the search at the moment. I mean, Esco's, Esco's doing absurd. Yeah, is Esco doing his thing? They're in the fifth, they're in the fifth round and Esco is 9-3. and three. Oh, wow. Uh, Cronus is 1-5, Lotok is still on 1-5. Esco just... Oh, <laughs> Esco just ninja'd it! He no way. Wow. He snaked the defuse. Yeah. Yo, did I just a big heads up play. Wow. Yeah, Esco. Esco one. Esco one v four. Oh wow. Yeah. Esco nine and four. For the, oh well, he one v. Well, he got three, and it was a one v one. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That technically, that technically, that's all one v four. <laughs> I mean, snow not really doing snow things right now is probably the most interesting one out of everything. Mm -hmm. Is Lo going to be stuck at one kill? I think is the question. Oh, he got oh, the second. <laughs> I mean, he said that. History in the making, folks. Lo Talker officially on two kills. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was expecting it to him to end with one. Yeah, me too. Just call it a day. The meme is over. The curse has been lifted. Oh, warmer. This is the warmer. Th this is the warmer thing now. That's what I'm saying. Now it's just blowing. If he wins that one on moisture, they even wrap this. Hey, they got a good shot. I mean, those talkers got to be feeling good about himself. He's got to be. He's got to be feeling extra frisky. I know. He's gotten infinitely times more kills than he has. Before, oh, that's so. a Ghoulie is retro. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but it makes well, sense. I, that's I who that like, is. I guess that's who that makes sense. That that's the last person. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's interesting that he's on his account. Bring this to the three three. That'd be huge. I mean, it's looking to be that way. Yeah, he's clomping. Warmer, big 3K is going to be able to bring Miami back from, what was, what, a 2v3, a 4v? Or, a, excuse me, a 3 or 4v2. Yeah. Big kills out of him. He hit the fast plat. No one really read it. He gets a big double. So yeah, tied up 3-3 for Washington and Miami. And for, I think once in his life, Lotugger is not the one with the least amount of kills in the lobby. At least once in the league, the NACL. I mean, in my own opinion, and my hot take is that the man that does have the lowest, I'm not surprised to be underperforming. Really? He is mm. doing pr pretty well, all things considered. Uh, statistically, anyway. I was genuinely surprised when he got moved to Blatt. 
Yeah. Well, the teamwork between those two guys are just kind of insane. Yeah, like, Cronus and Eska are IRLs. Yeah. And so, like, they, they definitely bring the best out of each other. Low talker, again, kind of cut down. And let's see how Washington play this. But look at number one, Snow. It, it, confident enough to get all the way. I mean, it seems Eska, the, uh, Eska seems to be aware of Snow's whereabouts. Yeah, he's got. Seems to have a pretty good oh, idea. Or not. I mean, when you play the round this slow, and yeah, never mind. Maybe not. Yeah. A Kronos guy has a Let's sniper. Oh, do. he makes it too. He is gonna get one. That's a big kill. That's a big kill. He's got to pull off a lot though. Back door is not open. I say this round is pretty close to chalked, but he might have it give. They might give him a chance. Back door uh, is no. indeed closed, but he does have a grenade to open it. He's yeah. He's gonna send text it open. Let's see what happens. They're not going to give him anything, though. Oh, that, that was kind of close. Just a little bit. That was pretty close. Maybe right in front. Oh, did he not see him snake Oh, up? he saw the snake. Nah. No, he didn't oh, see Oh, I don't him. think he did. Wow. Yeah. Cronus, on the snipe, I like to see them try and work something a little bit quicker now. Actually, I'm going to steal... This team is... I'm going to steal their, their placement of the images and just copy it. Yeah, there you go. Because the only thing with Miami is they're going to be remarkably slow. Uh, Eska, Cronus, and Warmer, to my knowledge, are all AR players. And if Cronus is a sub player and he's currently sniping, then that's a problem. And uh, Low Talker is a slow sub player and, if not, has been playing the AR slash flex for the last little while. So when you look at this team, it's not constructed to be a super high-paced team. Uh, and I think that's yeah. kind of been to their detriment. I think if there's any game mode that they'll be decent at, or that they have their best shot in, it was either this S and D or control. Although I'm not a big fan of letting this S and D in against Washington. Cronus gets the snipe though. Yeah, Cronus looking to do everything he can. Yeah, good reads. Yep, I uh, just gotta prevent snow from 1v3 and in. Looking good. Oh, he doesn't see him, D2. Alright, so 4-4. Four, four. Miami is giving this a good fight. They are not giving up. They are indeed. It's like, there's enough S&D uh, stardom here on this squad to be able to cut through the high gunny that uh, Washington yeah. has. I just very well put together gameplay, and obviously Eska's going off to a degree, but it, it's clear that their setups have been a little bit more a pat. Um, Especially after getting Eska and Gronis. I mean, they got the chemistry, and they're good at search. Yeah. See if they can defend this fast day. I believe that was and actually low talkers. Call low talkers gonna get. I believe that was low talkers' reason for picking the two. So he wanted to stack his search yes. to destroy because he was not letting that be the meme. Yes, that, that was actually precisely what he was saying. Uh, unironically, that was he was looking to build a good S and D team, and that I think he has done. Washington is expected to be quite good, and I think similarly, this Miami team is going to be at least very dominant in S and D. And Cronus not on the snipe now. That makes up yeah. might have been what just you got them that blood. Yep. Looks like we're about to be heading back to the match between back Vancouver course. and OKC in a second. All right, back to scheduled programming. All right, I will update the final score of that S and D once it is concluded. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, Z versus Vancouver. Tied up 1-1 in the series. I need to edit yep. the column real quick. After, I mean, after a dominant 6-0. Yeah. Looking to see Vancouver to keep this momentum going. Uh, continue. I'd like to see Scorts bounce back in control because he has been struggling in control as a major one. He's been like the low talker of control, like with no disrespect. He's, he, it's about time I think Scorts shows up and can start farming him off of like kitchen spawns. Oh yeah. 
Absolutely. Sixty gets a pick. Rhino gets a pick. Debezi and Ghoulie both get yep. picks. So two two. Good two, trades. That's two v two. Yep. Rhino Rhino gonna be the one. one. Yep. Ghoulie gonna be the one on hill trying to get a capture. Have to defend against Sixty and Rhino. Gets unable to get either. Vancouver getting full control of A site yet again. Look at this, the close spawns B actually. That's gonna be very interesting because men who aren't able to return fast enough, those are gonna be pretty close to point. BZ with a big one. He's gonna continue to go off. Slixie on five though. And they do break B back. They do indeed. And that is, I mean, they're immediately immediately on A after spawn up. DBZ is still sitting about the bed. Slixie looking to get his cruise missile off DBZ. It looks. Yeah. And Rhino looking to 1v3 this hill. Rhino, I might give it a shot, but man, I don't know about that OE. I, if I'm Rhino, I just back up to a hole and yeah. catch them exits. Bit of an over chow, but it's clear. Like, they got full control. Splixie's anchored up right now. There's not mm -hmm. a whole lot that Oklahoma are really going to be able to do regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Rhino gets a pick off Zachary. Gooley gets a trade. Yeah, just a very good setup from Vancouver. Not letting too many things slip through and just able to hold it right. But look at the BZ here. He's got the chance to make the play. Okay. Well, this gets traded off. He gets flat. the cruise missile. He does. Starting out 6 and 0. Oh. Looking to make it 7 and 0. Oh, potentially seven. 8. 8? Nah. Wow. 8. Yeah, no, he does not read CB Kings right there. CB's looking to have this time here. Vancouver looking to make a full push. Paradox snaking gets three! Paradox three! Oh my god! All that's left is Zakari. He's gonna be brought down as well. But they spawn close. They spawn pretty close, so I think. I think if there's any shot that Oklahoma's got, it's gotta be right now. You gonna get one? Yeah. Trade it out. Uh, but they're just kept getting traded down. If Vancouver can continue to just trade down like this, like even going is good enough. Like Blasting. look at that and Paradox getting getting them. I mean ahead. here's that man couches. That has to be a free kill. Shooting Almost the body. But able to get the trade anyway. Yeah. Zachary gets picked out right now. Another slow start, but he hasn't had to do a whole lot. His teammates have just been putting the pressure on and he's been filling in whatever gap he's needed to. I mean Rhino's starting out seven and eight. Yeah, Rhino, the main AR of this team has more engagements than anybody else right now. That's kind of crazy. I mean, he's got more kills or deaths than Rhino combines. Yeah. It's eight and eight. Another engagement. This this is nuts. Like, I haven't really seen an AR be able to put out that kind of numbers. I mean, like, look at Zachary on the other side. Yeah, when I was in the same situation, I had the least engagements on my team. Like, a uh, landslide. Vancouver, just a very solid defensive hold. And just an update here. Uh, Miami went on to win the last two rounds. So it is 1-1 in their series as well. The Miami-Washington. Uh, Miami winning so. a search round? Yeah. I mean, It's going to be interesting now. I think that makes this series a lot more mixy. Although I think um, they'll have to do it in Neslo fashion. I don't know if they can really compete with... Well, I shouldn't even say that because they played that map one really well. Oh, anyway. hold up. I got to point something out here. Paradox is on yeah. a nine streak. He started 0-2 and, and hasn't died since. That's that's right because he got bottom medic out of that three piece. And wow. he, I mean, he's, 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 he's looking to make a 10. He's looking to break some he's records here. Oh, he gets one. He doesn't yeah, see him. Eldesk. He's, 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 he's still alive. He doesn't get the he doesn't get the kill, but he's alive. Six, he gets two. Paradox is still alive on a 10 spree. I mean, okay, see, had to... with the trophy. Oh, no, no. Okay, see, so you had to see that banner spot like pop up, and they're they're upset. I gotta go back. I'm oh. There goes the unfortunate. Nine still, that's, may as well be point. He's gonna get one, but unfortunately, they're not gonna get that final tick, and that's gonna get drained. But if you look at A's already one on progress. Yeah, they are, they did get two ticks on that hill, even if they didn't get the full the full hold. I mean, yeah, so getting two ticks is still a good bit. Out ahead of this round. Yep. The BZ 3 and 10 right now, not what you want to see if you're an OKC fan. Absolutely not. Oh, they're hitting the 3 pinch on the time. Paradox able to get one, not much. Oh, we're able to get two? Paradox with two. Paradox. Not much. Able to that? get another two ticks on the other side. He's 12 and 4. Still spawning close. Zakari on a 5 right now. 
Zakari is on a five, looking to make it six. Zakari and CB Kings, look at that comeback from CB Kings. Not able to get the trade. Not able to get the cruise. Unfortunate. Man, CB Kings though, cold. still one more. CB Kings is up in uh. Could be a wee bit away, but Vancouver is going to secure that uh, one tick advantage, even if they don't win this round. Absolutely. Now they only need the one tick left on B with two minutes on time, 18 lives on either side. Yeah, and look at the setup. Paradox on an absolute fucking rampage. Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to watch this guy. And that's a four dead for the side of Vancouver. I mean, that was a, that was a quick shutdown for OKC. Paradox looking to make yet another play. He has one that was there. Oh my god. Absolutely blasted. Paradox looking to make a yet another play with that dead silence. Pops. Spot CB. Side of OKC now being fully aware of Paradox's whereabouts. Ooh. Baited out Scorps and it worked. You didn't know about Zach, does not matter. Paradox with another. Slixie looking to get the trade on CB. She gets the kill on CB. Well, the scores on Paradox go down. I think Slixie the only one close. Looks like. Slixie and Rhino. Slixie and Rhino both getting one. All up to Debezi to hold off, yeah, hold off the push. I'm playing from Vancouver right now. That's three dead. The last, the last one is only going to be close D1. Debezi is going to get a big kill. Doesn't He's gonna matter. continue to do that though, and Vancouver's gonna take it. They're up now 2-0 in the S and or in the control. Excuse me. Stack was in. Not much you can do in a 1v2 scenario like that. Paradox getting the kill anyway. Starting on 18 and five. He definitely makes up for a score, so I believe is three and 13 at this moment. I, I believe so. Definitely not the prettiest sight, but I think it go. I think it does need to be said. Like even with Scorps, 14 and four. Um, not per not performing as you would expect. Uh, he's winning the map still, you know. Like, Absolutely. It's obvious that there's something he's doing on the map. Like he he's an aggro sub player. He's putting pressure on it at the very least. Because his existence is is exhausting, as as some might say. Yeah. It's very 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 pressure oriented. So he's not able to find anything under the pressure of four OKC members. <laughs> Paradox looking to travel out by top bed gets picked. Back around time yeah, to be repaired. I wonder if they're gonna be able to do everything with that. Scorps is a big one, but it's gonna be traded out. Six of trying to hit a slow flank through couch and gets picked out. Reviewing uh Hive is gonna be probably one of the big things for teams playing up against the stone because there's a lot of things that might be become readable out of their game plan, like this mm -hmm. these paradox push-ups. You can start planning for those. I think that makes Vancouver's defense a lot weaker. But right now, it looks immaculate. Absolutely. It's looking like it's looking like a paradox show. You got Scorps running around your spawn right now. Mm. Yeah. Well, look at where Scorps is right now. He literally just ran f from back ho or from back bed to uh, hot to kitchen and is now on the floor. Like, it, that's just the kind of time he got out there is insane. He's still alive. He's right now. He's about to yes. take this 1v1 to the He gets caught out. He's exactly. gonna lose it, unfortunately. But again, just like that pressure that he's able to provide, like, there's not many teams where you have a setup where you just can say, hey, you sub player, go run through the back of their spawn. That's yep. not something that happens. So, so you're gonna get anchored up now. You're gonna just probably prevent the flat push. This is really. Ghoulie and CB hit double hitting out this top bed. Zachary just posting up on the couches. Really not able to find anything. Rhino and Scorps with getting one of their own, sending it to a 2v2 after Debezi and CB get the picks of their own. CB gets a two piece. Leaving just Slixie left alive on the time. Slixie gets right two. And yeah, full bound, full reset. Oh, Back to the drawing board. Nothing with the streak either. Not sure who it was that played. Not sure, but I did not find anything except maybe a trophy system. Lives are just about tied up. 
And Cooper trying to keep as much control over this B side yeah. as they can, but I having no this, one pushed up. Yeah, this situation heavily favors Yeah, this situation heavily favors Vancouver. Like, the lives may look even, but there's uh, virtually no chance Oklahoma can break this. Yeah, Zakari, I, or excuse me, uh, Sixty and Rhino anchored up, just you're not going to break through yeah. them guys on D1 and 2. Speaking of cruise missiles, I'm finding something. Zachary, it's 2. We're going to push out and get uh, This might be an opening that they don't anticipate giving up. Paradox is going to get one, though, so he gets a trade back. That's going to be looking like game. This is looking, this is looking almost game. Team on time, he's going to get traded out, and yeah. Just an absolute stranglehold on this point. Scores begin to pick up. So that's good to see. It's up to 60 in the top bedroom. Another I cruise mean, missile coming in. Just a rhino. Really well composed defense. Hitting the trees. Causing some more forest fires. And that's a dominant 3-0 win needed. for Vancouver. I see some bodies getting shot right there too. I mean, after that sort of victory, you can't blame him. Look at a 10 kill streak from Paradox. The BZ struggling and the anchoring. The BZ, yeah, the BZ was very much struggling in that game. Yeah, uncharacteristic Governor, for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna flip oh, it right, back yeah, to the back. NSCL Bravo stream. Never mind. Uh, they are not playing right now. Either. They have not started map They're three. They're currently still in between the SMD and the control. Unfortunate. They have yet to start map three. I mean, the game's the game. All right. Uh, I so I got a couple of questions for you. Um, so with these four teams added, um, and these expansion teams. Um, where do you think, uh, other than your own team, where do you think the other three stand in the span of this league? Like, they've all seemed to come out and look very strong. Like, we see Vancouver really being able to anchor up. Washington look pretty dominant. Like, what's your read on these new teams coming in, and how do you think they uh, stack up against the current ones? Um, I'm thinking these top these new four teams are probably top four. Maybe one or two drop down to maybe top six, but... I don't think it goes lower than that. But I think it also highly depends on the day and the mentality of the players and things like that. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, any team can beat any team. We don't have a Miami. It doesn't. We don't yeah, seem to have true. a Miami this this major. Then again, we have yet to I mean, see you, you get... St. Louis play, so who knows. Or who have yes. we yet to see St. play? Louis we've yet to see we've to yet be... to see Phoenix play. We've yet to see St. Louis play, and those are the bottom two. Yeah, arguably, I think you can never really count Phoenix out just because ATG and Invictus are still on that roster, and that's two big pieces to that winning formula that took Major One. But their um, other winning piece so was I, also I the don't absolute monster duo of Eska and Cronus. And not to mention that their, is a very good point. Not to mention their arguable hard carry in the but grand finals of Slixie. That is that is true. But to say that, I mean, Slixie and Invictus were pretty close to interchangeable, and Bravo is just now uh, firing off with their control uh, on a silo. Actually, I huh. think this is the first time we've seen a silo this major. If it could be, yeah. And we had a record-breaking expo the other day. Yep. 
Yeah, death yeah. death, you, death you records. Talk about the record I mean, death moment. records getting broken, kill records almost getting broken, damage records getting broken. I mean, we had an astounding record yes, breakage it, 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 of the of the ruler. kills of the deaths. I don't know if you noticed, because the previous record was thirty one, not actually, and the new record is now thirty eight, held by Daisy. Oh, jeez, Daisy, poor guy. I'm actually, almost tied by Shaggy with thirty seven. Oh wow! Almost. Not quite. That's funny because I threw that stat up and I didn't even think about it, and now it's yeah, wow. Very solid defense on Washington right here. Uh, Warmer off to a pretty slow start, and then Biz is actually flying on four in a row. He's just in our spawn, being a nuisance. Warmer off the donut. That's gonna be a big two towards A side. Looks like they're gonna have a shot at this. Let's see if they read Biz. Esco with a huge read. That is insane. And that's going to secure my A point. I think your stream is much further behind mine. Is it? Yeah, you have to refresh it like every fucking like two, five minutes. Or it starts dropping behind for no, whatever reason. Let me reason. swipe it off and throw it back on. That's funny. Because um, for me, Miami's looking to take control of B. And they have, Are you watching they've Kai from... from the mountain? Oh, wow. Yeah, Kai problem. on the mountain right now, laying prone, just put shots into a field. Cronus is currently trying to creep on him. Cronus is creeping. Does he creep? We all know from the controller reconnection. He's he's probably clomping from the looks of it. Kai definitely hears him. He sniffs him. He ain't creeping no more. He's clomping. Does not matter. He him, and he, he goes down. No, he does. He can knock it up there. You on Esker right now? Yeah, you're probably still ahead of me. Mm, not really. I'm on Eska, top bowk. Alright, you good. Slam yeah. snow. Yep. That was clean. If they can get Kai off, that's the big one. Yeah, Kai is going to stay up. Snow is going to spawn. Both stats going to be around. That's a very strong defense from Washington. And arguably an offense heavy map. Mm -hmm. At least at our level. Very good hold. Which is interesting because uh, the um, defensive side of the snap is very dominant in Search and Destroy. Yeah. Well, actually, that would make sense. But it... Oh, no. Never mind, yeah. Back to a regularly scheduled program. Am I crazy? Crazy. All right. I just realized that I was that's the only ones. control map where the uh, S and D also spawns in the same spot. Interesting. I didn't think about that. The more you know. Yeah, I'll keep that stream up and keep us updated on uh, that match as we hop into this map four. This is match point for Vancouver. Oh man, who's up? Vancouver, yeah. So Vancouver with this map win, which I believe this is probably their pick, hmm. uh, is going to be taking this series. Especially considering how dominant this map is with I the ARs and having a very AR dominant team. Yeah, lineup. Yep. So you be looking to get two. Scorps plays this uh, map really well. Yeah. Dabizi looking to make a bounce back on the last the map. Yeah, you get shot the back though. Unfortunate. Paradox able to get and one. And yeah, it looks like Vancouver are gonna hold on to these new spawns just narrowly though. Uh, plays being made from OKC and trying to prevent that from happening. But this looks like it's gonna be too little, too late, and they're gonna start to get P1 time. So this is a very good setup. But look at this retro gonna be cut down, and that's going to be Vancouver P2 time. And the thing with Vancouver on this, Vancouver with the side of, of time for this, for the side of this map, is that Slixie, I mean, up until now, is too dead. Slixie, when Slixie plays this map, he sits top green and doesn't move until he's dead. And even once he yeah. dies, he goes back immediately. Yeah. But they got the pick on Slixie, so they're able to get some control, but it's looking like Vancouver keeps the hold of this hill. Okay, so you're looking to make a, a stance on that, though. 
Paradox starting at six and one. Seven and one. Maybe eight and one? Paradox Not is eight and one. Right now. Paradox is nice to be on Gets straight out of the car and scores finally off the donut. And him and Slixy definitely are starting off this map a little bit slow, but that's not to be understated because Rhino and Paradox are both doing their thing. They are absolutely. Paradox and Rhino almost get Scorps. Words. Scorps almost able to get two on the Look, time to hold the last 20 retake. seconds. Was well, a good retake, but I, one thing I did notice with OKC is they love to break at 20 seconds. Every yeah. single time they'd get it. Oh, and the round ends. Yeah, they're going to get that time. They almost had the rotation, though. I knew. All right. Before 50 points, it'll be a full replay. No. Was there a disconnect? I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm very familiar with it. I didn't see it either. I don't know if maybe okay, so someone back. might have. No, there was no disconnect. Someone might have had ping glitch. Potentially, it's like he had a ping glitch. I'm go not investigate. sure. Understood. Hit Alt Z. Awesome. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, frame glitch. The uh, fr frame drops. Uh, Retro had to restart his game. What was that? Uh, apparently Retro is getting frame drops. Mm. So he's restarting his game? Yeah, he restarted his game. They should be getting going here very quickly. Mm. I gotta double check something though. I wanna make sure there isn't anything on that in the rules, or if there is, looking at it. I believe this would be really the same as a disconnect. To a certain degree. Hmm. I'm wondering if this is going to be the same setup as before. Okay, see, so he has a full spread across the map. Gulli and Dibizi both able to get one. Slixy gets a pick. Paradox sitting in that bike corner looking to get it. Start out in another heater. It's a pick on Zach. CB trying to bleed some time off this hill. Rhino get able to get two. Slixy able to get one. It's a four dead for the side of OKC. Paradox gets another. The same fury coming out from Paradox. That's it. It's good to see it. Like that. What in the hell was that? 
Scorps. I mean, he gets the kill. Scorps over there, kind of. But what the fuck? Finesse. <laughs> I think he finessed himself. Yeah, and Bank. <laughs> yeah, Vancouver's just anchored up right now. But number two, Debezi's gonna be. They're gonna be here on new, and it's gonna be a battle for this P2. It's not gonna be as easy as it was last time. That's Debezi so, no. again. get traded out by Paradox. He does get traded out. So that's going to be a control over to Vancouver, but not nearly as clean as the first time around. Oh, Dark Ice is looking to make a break their head. Just does not matter what they want to do. No, it does nothing. They just got fried. Rhino's going to get stunned. They're going to make the read. He does. That's a very big kill out of Debezi. They're going to get the opening kill. Zachary looking one to last push break out. for OKC. Getting picked by Look Sixy. Look at spawns way out in 10. He does. That's He's going to play that's for That's going to be old and yeah. Two bullets left. Picks up the stack. Not, not able to do anything with it. You get the last 10 seconds, but look at all of Vancouver. Wow, that was the, by killing everybody on time. Oklahoma gave them the rotation for free. That yeah, is insane. The and the BZ has too. to go back to work again, and he's going to continue. He's looking very good right now. The BZ, was looking, time. the BZ was looking to make a play there, but was not able to do much. He got two, but his teammates weren't really ready to follow him up, unfortunately. Or not. It's gonna be and another two dead though. It is a quick it is a quick two dead from the side of for the side of OKC. Rhino gets some bad timing, time. does not get the pick. Ooh. Okay, so you get a full break with forty seconds left on the hill. And finally a good timed break from OKC. Now let's see if they really it. And it looks like they have a good shot at it. And one more break from Vancouver from the door. Last is gonna be number six. Ooh. Rhino? Rhino's not gonna go down. He doesn't get the child out either. Gooley got the reload off, did oh, not no. matter. Yeah, retro out of ammo there. Six is looking to make a hold on this Gooley. new hill, starting at 9 and 4, doing much better on the restart. Paradox still looking to make another play. Paradox gets picked by Dubizi though. Rhino holding some old time. Gooley looking to play right into the hands of Slixy. Or maybe not. Picked my Scorps. Zachary now having to play for this back alley. Able to get one, not quite able to get Slixie off that balcony. Slixie able to get two. Scorps gets a turn on Ghouli. Whoa, Slixie shotgunning yeah, people with an this, AR. There's two Ghoulies now. There that are two Ghoulies. Sense. There are two ghoulies, so this isn't like a uh, Brooklyn ghoulies account, just <laughs> retro season is now ghoulie, and now there's also a ghoulie on Brooklyn, so that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. So, okay, see with this old time, and it's going to be a pretty clean break, but look at this setup from Vancouver. This is a monster. Not for long. He has to read. I wonder if he heard him. That's, that's insane. I've heard it. I mean, the setup almost just gets completely picked apart. Rhino and Paradox still able to keep the, the line held. Yeah, they anchor up good and they spawn close, and yet they're going to hold it. Ghoulie really looking to make a long flank here. Yeah, should be unfortunately, I don't know, like... Yeah, I mean, if he gets this real close, he does. That's, now, that makes it worth it. That makes it way worth it. Oh, wow. Absolutely. That, now, that's a break I didn't see coming, and Ghoulie, that, that's a great play out of them. But again, Paradox was able to trade him out. So, see, getting picked by CB. CB trying to get this rotation. Almost gets a. Oh, playing for it with Paradox. There's two already new for the side of Vancouver. Able to get the trade on oh. CB. Now there's three for the side of OKC. Yeah, look at, look at this. This is going to be an absolute bash. It's already. It's there's a 2v2 two two on Hill. OKC players. And yes, yeah, 2v2 on point. This is insane. Zakari gets one. There's one left. And they get them all. That's a huge break out of Vancouver. Bezi gets another. Okay, see, that's so something. Zachary gets another. You, if you're Vancouver, you cannot let that happen. I mean, uh, the side of OKC wow. get a full four down just from okay, Bezi and Zachary. Zachary getting another off the top balcony. Paradox and Scorps looking to make a play yep. through, through tunnel. Zachary only able to get one. Paradox trying to play his life out in the mid, but not much he can do. I know able to get one. Can you get him off hill? Uh, this whole this hold is gonna be iron tight, and it's gonna be on to if you look number eight and the rest of Vancouver. Oh, no, it's, it's gone. <laughs> we're not playing for new at all. What does number one do? 
That's the question now. Push is old. They don't recognize it. I, I do not like that push up. Four push is old. Number one needed to get new. Now yeah, four no, and two is, are pushing this is out. Not good. One is pushing up through mid but though. Look at they're still gonna get the time though. If you look, like the timing works out, even that's ultra long flank, it wasn't good enough. Yeah. That's that's crazy. I wonder if that's how you should really play that. That's something new I haven't really seen before, and it looks like you're gonna take full advantage OKC okay, here. And yeah, they're gonna have to set up for P7 as well. That's that's incredible. Yeah, OKC okay, with the full setup already. Gets broken by Vancouver though. Up. Let's do it, yeah. Broken instantly. Like, the number two on a flank, he's definitely not gonna read him. Maybe Ooh. he does though. They read the flip spawns, but that's gonna be too much for the easy gets to kill. And to be easy again, just being a nuisance, but Scorps gets to kill. That's a huge kill out of Scorps. And that's gonna give Vancouver this control for the last 20 ish seconds. Tell the CP to make a play going into the lockers. Gets a pick. Hey, Scorps. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna give this a contest here. It's tied yeah. up 150. Looks like 150. OKC are gonna have P2 spawns, which is. But look at the last 10 seconds or so are going to go the way of OKC, and that's going to be a very big uh, chunk of time here. <clears throat> and map control that they're going to acquire off of this P7. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. OKC getting full control for a side and of that's P2. That's going to be easy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and they just need to make sure not to OE, because it looks like they might. Oh, they lost they full control of Hedges. They lost it. Old. It gets the pickoff tunnel. I, I, I hate watching that. That's very, very sloppy out of a, out of a C. It's not a CB to try to They're break this time back. Break. CB gets two. And that's, that's the spawn back. That, that, a huge, that massive mistake goes unpunished. Somehow goes unpunished. I mean, it was a double mistake and a double punish. Yep. Okay, so you making sure they are very aware of their hedge push now. Yep. They blundered a full 60 and Vancouver blundered a right five. That's... Wow. And like I've been saying, Debezi now, 26 and 15 with the entry sub, he has showed up like we were needing him to, like OKC was needing him to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like we were looking to make a push to the top of the, the top of green. Yeah. Able Ooh. to find one, able to find two, it's all up to Zachary, he doesn't find any. Oh wow. Yep. And that's gonna be an instant break from Vancouver, that's big. Right away, we're gonna get two. Oh, okay, we get yeah, six, you get the fourth. Tons, they, they, they throw away that full 60. Like, it's just very, very sloppy work. Um, I like to see that it'll be a little bit easier, uh, at the very least. But they just gotta, Vancouver just gotta clean 40 seconds on that P2. And they might even row new. Let's see if number one can say something about it. But they're gonna really have two new. And it's, number one's gonna have everything on them, and Wooly is not gonna get it. And that's going to be a uh, chain. Looks like it's going to be a chain out of Vancouver. That's the easy. Once again, uh, take the entire point by himself, which it looks like you might have a shot at doing. The yeah, easy just on a DeBizzi, tear. Yep, he breaks the entire thing by himself, all, all four. And just like that, they have control of that point again. Right, let's see if they can hold on to one of these points. It's looking like they might be able to. I've been to this too. Not able to quite get the third. Paradox looking yeah. to get the third, and there it is. After right after the BZ hits the five streak, not able to get, confirm the cruise missile. Rhino get the pick on time, Zachary and Ghoulie. Yeah. Send a Rhino to pull them off. Rhino staying alive, gets the pick on both. That's more time going inside of Vancouver. Yeah, that's just so sloppy from OKC. That's just third or fourth kill. They have control of it and they've given it up. Yeah. Paradox is going to make a full hole on this back alley, able to get two. Yeah, just yeah, Paradox close. is doing it all right now. I mean, Paradox has to hear him below him. Debezi there as well. Oh, yeah, if they, oh they know Paradox is there. Oh, almost got him. Ooh, almost. Good try to get back. That's going to be... Scorps able to get one. Leaving Vancouver to get the full time. And Old Scorps gets two. It's all down to Zachary to get a break oh, on this hill. Big two, big two. It's all down to, all down to him to get... get traded out, because, though. Yep. This looking like really a Vancouver win. This, this looks like it might be the end of the series. It's all down to Debezi to do anything, and he can't get there in time. And that is a series yeah, map win. It, indeed. Vancouver take it. That's 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 the series. Vancouver win 3-1. After an absolutely dominant control and search and destroy. 
Yeah. The hard point's looking a little shaky, but I mean, I mean you can win maps two enough. and three. Who cares if you're winning one and four? Because if you're winning two in that dominant of a fashion, uh, you're taking five every time. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go in for a little a little interview with the uh, the Vancouver team and see how they're feeling. Agreed. I mean, how are you guys feeling after that victory against OKC? God, that was good. beautiful. Expected. I mean, paradox. What the fuck cocaine did you snort today, buddy? I'm on the crack right now. No paradox. I'm not talking to you, what? buddy. This man, paradox, snorting cocaine today. Did I? My boy yeah. was frying, bro. Brother, paradox was cooking. <laughs> this I'm man cold, was bro, dropping forty in the Washington screens. Are almost dropping forty. This man, paradox, went on a ten streak in the control. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm not good, at Petra. Or, uh, Petra. You're not good? I'm not good. I'm a gold. Oh, that's my bad. I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck, bro? And this, and it, and <laughs> Intel, Intel actually says that uh, a specific admin that may or may not be in your call did push for you to get plat. So that's not here or there. <laughs> Scorps, the absolute fucking hotel search and destroy demon. I mean, good God. <laughs> yeah man hey, it's a good team victory man uh, i already knew once uh rhino picked me up that uh you know we're gonna try to take this to the top but one game at a time we're looking forward to our matchup against uh milwaukee for sure i mean after today's match everyone's saying that vancouver's only got ar pressure proving them wrong what yeah, yeah man I've, 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 I've actually heard a lot of people talking shit about how uh, we're just an ar team i mean my guy paradox like to do anything, man. That guy just fries. I mean, the the word on the street coming into this into this major was that Vancouver was an AR team and that Atlanta was a sub team, but both teams have proved that sentiment wrong. Yes, sir. Sixty, how are you feeling? I hey, I'm just here. Paradox is frying. And I was just letting him do his thing. I mean, you had a much better start on the restart on that last map. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. You went you went from starting out one and five to starting out nine and like two. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm salty. <laughs> My stats took a hit. I was frying for the reset. I mean I you were frying you. regardless. You started frying at the end of the map, and that's when it mattered. I did. I did. I was just there for rotations, man. I was rotating at thirty. Yeah, man. One of the good things about this team is, you know, we, we're not uh you know, we don't have too big egos, like so everybody's just trying to do their job, you know, get the dub. Can't really, we're can't not, really. We're not there. Um, one thing that I don't know if you guys did see, because you were in the middle of your series, there was a, there was absolute history today. Oh, we saw. Yeah, we, saw. <laughs> we saw. Low talker, low talker got first blood in this low series. Low talker for diamond for his first kill. Hey, Snowman even called it that Moist was going to be the first death from Low Talker. I'm yeah, pretty he, sure the he did. He did. He did. He <laughs> called Low Talker first round, first blood on Moist was going to be the his the kill. You had to. Had to be first Dang. kill. This fucking the thing is, the thing is, did they win the search? They did. They won six four. Whoa! Let's go. Oh, so did, he get a, did he get a second kill? No, not uh, he did. He did get a second kill. How did he end up? I don't know oh, if he got yeah. a third though. Oh, right. well, uh, sounds about right. Sounds about right. That's all that matters, bro. <laughs> he did all he had to do. Dude, yeah. Get the two Team kills and get out. I mean, he still me might still might be Agent 007. Who knows? <laughs> Only time will tell. I think I think it's gonna be long lived double double Agent on seven. Wait, who were they playing? Uh, they were playing Washington. Oh shit! And they lost. Washington lost the surge. Uh, they lost the surge. I don't know how the. I think the series went to Washington, but I was gonna say Washington. Snow's not very good at surge, so from what I've heard, anyway. Yeah. See. Oh no. Oh, yeah. still Washington. Oh, they went to. Uh... Oh no. Yeah. So they're Vetra, still playing. Vetra, when are you ready to?